Um, we are taking a little bit of a hiatus right now. Um, more updates will follow eventually. I'm not really sure when, um, but that will be put out soon, hopefully, I'm sure. Um, but I am with uh, one of my best friends, Hannah Line. Um, she is in that pearly white 69 Camaro. Um, so I am at Brainerd in Minnesota. Um, I flew up here, we've been best friends um, for several years now. And I was like, getting a little tired of working in town. So I was like, you know, let me just take a trip real quick. Um, so I am here with Hannah. Um, she's over here with her dad getting paired up and whatnot. Um, but so I figured I would just come on out to uh, Brainerd International Raceway because I want to go to more racetracks and um, if we're not racing at the moment then I wanted to take a trip so that's exactly what I'm doing um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, make sure you like comment subscribe dislike whatever you want to do it helps me out um, super close to a thousand subscribers I think I hit 965 this morning um, so that's awesome so keep the subscriptions coming um, it helps me a ton and I of course as always appreciate all of you So I've fallen a little bit behind on just updating and whatnot because it's not my usual program. Um, I do certain things a certain way, uh, but you know, I've just been kind of hanging out a little bit here since it's more so a vacation for me. Um, but so the first two time runs, Hannah ran really good. It was an 11.09 with something, uh, both passes. I'll try to confirm with her what it actually was. Um, she won first round. She did very well, so that was great. And uh, we are in the staging lanes to get ready to run round two. Um, so that is about to go down. They are, some of them are already paired. Some of them are getting paired still. I don't think she's paired yet, but that will be happening shortly. They're all hanging out. All right, so there she is, my girl Hannah. She's getting ready to set, run second round. So the dial ins were 907 against the 1320. She thought I said 1720, so she, uh, you know, it's always like, uh, that's crazy. But um, it's been fun so far. Um, it's, I believe, that it's, it should be a two day race. Um, so, but I will also throw in um, a few clips, probably at the end of just a few different cars as well. Uh, just because I'm here and having fun and I can do it.
first two time runs were 11.09, but I don't know the other number as well. 11.091, 11.098. So 11.091 was the first, and then it was 11.098. I knew it was like the same. Mm -hmm. um, first round went really well. We didn't talk about first round, but okay. how do you feel about first round? First round was good. Um, driver was good, both ends of the track. Yes. Uh, good light, car's consistent. Uh, I'm just happy to be here. It's my dad's race, so it makes it a little extra special. It's the ninth annual Paul Bunyan Classic, sponsored by Line Performance. We always love that. And then second round was also decent. Second as well. round was good. Uh, weather changed a little bit, so we were expecting it to be a little slower and ended up being a little faster. Uh, I got lucky with a red light from my opponent, but again, driver and car were both on, so. Yeah. It always comes together in the end, right? How it's supposed to. Absolutely. So. But um, next will be round three, and obviously I will video that. And if I can catch her, we will do a recap on that. If not, I will do a short recap, and then we'll recap at the end of the night or something, whatever whatever goes on. But You're cute. too late to dry the track because they don't even have lights on the track do they? No and we have a curfew here in town so. Yeah so there's a curfew they stopped it um, so today since most of the people were probably here running yesterday they had one time run and then they went right into first round so I'm gonna let Hannah talk about that a little bit. 
Uh, first round today was a little bit tardy on the tree. Unfortunately, to his 11 light, I just could not get the win. It sucked, but it happens. It happens like that sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you just, your head is um not where it needs to be. Yeah. It's up. It's up. Uh, it's up <laughs> mine's always Most of up. The time. Mine's <laughs> always up. Mine. So, but we are standing pretty much in a huge field. Um, this is used for the national event, like spectator pits, I guess. So it's everyone that spectates. This would be also known as the zoo. Kind of crazy. If you picture like a bunch of campers out here, it's literally just a big campground for all the people that participate in the zoo. People set up like little tents, kind of like attractions back here too. There's one in particular I love. It's called the living room. It's Couches, coffee tables, everything you would see in a living room under a tent out here in this field. TVs too, right? Yes. Perfect. So, I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first heard about this zoo, I thought it was a legit zoo. Like animals. Pretty much. And you were like, no, this is where all the drunk people party. And I'm like, they act like well, I see, I see where that is super fitting. Um, but I know there's probably, you hear the humming in between us talking as well, there is a motorcycle track, which I will get a couple clips of that. They're running today. Um, so we're gonna get a couple clips of that, but this is the area where the zoo goes on. <laughs> but all well, the party animals. <laughs>